Hey, my beautiful Virgos, welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification button. And if this is not your first time on my channel, but you have not subscribed or liked anything yet, what are you doing with your looking ass? I said what I said. Anyway, and to the ones that this is not your first time on my channel. Hey, family. How y'all doing today? You know, I got to pick. I got to pick it. I got to pick at the people that just be watching. They, they fuck with me. They don't want to admit it. But anyway, anyway, ain't get on there. Y'all, y'all, don't you watch it. Don't matter. Get something from it. Whew. Okay, my girls, before I get into this energy... Heavenly Father, I thank you right now for every powerful, beautiful Virgo. I thank you for their life. I thank you for their purpose, Heavenly Father. I ask you right now to elevate them in ways that they did not know they could be elevated. Open up their minds to things that they did not know that they can dream of and bring to reality. I thank you for their creativity, Heavenly Father, and I thank you for their victory. I thank you for the lives that they are changing. Victory is our portion. We are walking in it. We are claiming it, and it is us. Amen. Okay, Virgo. So... You know what we're going to do? We're going to get into these questions. <laughs> Let's get into these questions. Messages love the light. Okay, that's one. I think we need to get two. Ooh. I said, I think we need to get two and two more popped out. That means Virgo. Spirit got something to say. <laughs> what y'all been up to, goddamn it? I know it's been a minute, but what y'all been up to? Virgo say, uh, give us our read so we can see. So you can see. All right. First of all, don't rush me with that Rushman mentality, okay, Virgo? Because I thought we was like this now. Come on now. Okay. Am I focusing more on what my life looks like than on what it feels like? So, Spirit saying, does your life actually amount up to what you're, what you're portraying it to be? Or do you feel a different type of way about your life outside of what people's perception is of it? Okay, Virgo. So with this spirit really wants you to start aligning your life up with the way you truly feel. See, we have people who they portray to be happy, but in actuality, they're lonely, they're sad, and they don't have a sense of self. And then we have those who are very, um, like they, they, I don't know. Then you have some who portray their life to be low key, but they really be out there living la vida loca, you know. So basically, spirit wants you to be to become in tune with what you, what you actually are doing in life and how you actually feel. And if you are doing things that it seems fun, but you are really not enjoying it, spirit said it's time to change that because you should be feeling good while also looking good you know what i'm saying and then the whole thing is forgetting about what other people perceive your life to be be okay with just being you you know what i'm saying mm, but it's all extra glossy by my anyway so anyway the next question is if i didn't feel shame or fear what would i do now spirit said there might be some some type of fear or some type of um insecurity that's holding you back from this new beginning that's holding you back from these um from these from these gifts and from these uh ideas that need to be birthed but only you can birth them only you are the mama virgo you only you're the daddy virgo and these gifts are gifts that the humankind, the world needs. Like you really, you really like a big thing, Virgo. Like you really need to stop sleeping on yourself. You really a big thing. You like type flight Virgo of the world, of the world. Do you hear me? The world needs your ideas. The world needs you. So I'm gonna need you to tap in, tap out all that negative shit. Whoever around you, they bringing down your vibration. You need to leave them alone. I'm going to put this up, this third question, because, you know, I don't want to take forever on your reading. I know you, you know, you want that attention sometimes, you know, but I, I, I can't, I got to sift it out. I can't give you all my attention, Virgo. But I'm going to give it to you while you're here with your beautiful self. Mm-hmm. Smelling good too. I like that. All right, messages love life for my beautiful Virgo. Look at you. Oh, Virgo. Messages love life for my beautiful Virgo. Sweet. Virgo, <laughs> oh, y'all fuck with me. Y'all do. I love y'all too. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, Virgo. Looks like you're ready to act a fool with it. So the fool came, came out. This is. 
this is like a new beginning. This is uh, ground zero. This is a new era, which we happen to be in at this very moment. Um, I feel like right now you want to start something new. I feel like you with this question that came up, I'm focusing more. Uh, am I focusing more on what my life looks like or then or what it feels like? I feel like you want to dive into a venture or dive into a situation where you feel like it's actually aligned with what you really want in life, how you really want your life to feel like. And I feel like that it may be different from what you are that you are accustomed to doing, but you found yourself being lost in the situation and things that really did not bring out the best in you or you did not desire to do those things. So right now, right now, I feel like there's a new venture that you're about to just jump into. It's like 5150 and it's gonna align and it's aligning up with where you feel like you like you'll never be working it's like you enjoy or 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 whatever situation or relationship this may be i feel like you enjoy it so much that it doesn't feel like you're working we have the the chariot the chariot card speaks of leaving something heading towards what you desire so i feel like you're leaving you're leaving the illusions behind virgo like if you were in a relationship, I feel like the relationship was really based on what it appeared to other people. Like, let me let us appear abundant in front of other people. But I feel like in the back of it, it was more hidden problems. It was more hidden secrets that had to be addressed. But to address them uh, like normal people would, would be to switch up whatever the image was that this other person, that your other person wanted to portray. I feel like the person or situation you were dealing with Virgo was more concerned about the thoughts that other people thought about the situation than the situation itself. And I feel like right now you're moving away from that. You can also be uh, buying a new car or whatever, trading it in. But yeah, and I feel like it's it. I feel like right now you're just ready to leave. It's like uh, leave the situation. I feel like because you're ready to actually let your life portray what you what is really going on like it's like that that energy of wanting to be transparent like i'm tired how poor i'm tired of lying to these folks mama can we just tell them that we ain't got the money for the bills <laughs> messages love the light Ooh, beautiful Virgo, i ain't gonna take these Ooh, i feel see sneaky energy okay well i'm just gonna let me just okay I mean, we want to read this stuff. Okay, I'm not taking this. Okay, I'm going to take this one because this one came out. The world card. So, I feel like, Virgo, right now, whatever you're doing, you could be, if you if you got a business, I feel like your business is really doing well. I think it's doing much better, starting to show progress. There's a lot of movement. I feel like right now, you're going to have to start taking a chance out on faith about this business and about leaving situations and people that no longer serve you because, Right here, I see you leaving something. And once you leave something that that was trying to portray to the world, like it was all Krispy Kremes, but it was actually McDonald's nothing. Um, But it was something else. I feel, I feel like, uh, I feel like right now you're about to glow. So or if you're online, your business online is about to be abundant. I feel like right now, however you're portraying yourself, you're looking really good. I feel like you're going to have a lot of people wanting to be with you, around you, and near you all around the world. You're like a world. I just told, didn't I say you was like the top flight Virgo of the world? I, I said that before the world card came out. Didn't I say that, Virgo? I thought so. If I didn't feel shame or fear, what would I do now? I feel like right now, whatever you're doing, the world is going to see you. And you're going to have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. There's a situation that's going to arise where you are going to have to stand up to that fear that you want to be in the background. Swaying in the background. You can't sing in the background no more. You have to be the headliner. You got to be the headliner, baby. No more background for you. This face belongs on the tissue. Oh, yes, Virgo. So you going to have to, you going to have to, have to pick up that star mentality. You going to have to just be, be, be on the shine, baby. The world needs to know we got to shine, baby. Time to shine, time to grind. 
All right. Y'all almost had me crook over there, Virgo. Virgo, they say it's time. To, you are the butterfly. That cocoon ain't for you no more. Top you to spread your wings and fly. <laughs> Fly till you fly. Okay, okay, Virgo. I'm about to done with you. I feel like right now, yeah, separation, sadness. Somebody is sad because you're separating from them, and because they want to keep up the illusions or whatever, and you're moving away from that. And then we have mirroring, mirroring each other. Self image, relationship reflects our wounds. Uh, introspection. So I feel like right now, this relationship, you both are mirror mirroring each other. You guys are starting to understand uh, the things that you've been going through, what triggered them, where they came from. I feel like you're starting to find out or your partner is also starting to realize uh, where their behavior is originated from meaning they are pinpointing to where they got their characteristics from that allows them to be sneaky i don't know i feel the sneaky energy your person was probably sneaky manipulative like really um flexible with their verbiage should i say like it's a fine line between a lie and just making you feel like something else to answer <laughs> anyway all right, Virgo, if any of this resonates, please like and subscribe. I do want to say I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And please remember to stay encouraged, stay empowered. We are the truth, all right? And if ain't nobody told you they love you today, you lie because I told you I love you already. But I'm going to say it again because I know your ass be hard to hear sometimes. You know, I, it's, it's okay, Virgo. It's okay. But I caught you. I caught you. <laughs> but I love y'all. Love y'all self. Like and subscribe, all right? Mm. Blessings.